a face down? Yeah, like it? like the, that goes up into that corner up by that, okay. right? Because this is the area that it's gonna it's gonna scan. It's okay. like that, and that, that's way the thing will come. And then we're gonna close this. We're not gonna regard anything to do with this guy. We don't care. Oh, because this doesn't matter. That says HP Office Jet. Yeah. So click on that once. Okay. Retrieving information from the device. Hopefully we can just chill through this. Okay, so you're going to click here on scan a document or photo. So click on that one time. Here. Yep. Did you left click? Okay, good. So you're going to do a photo to a file. So like even when it's a document, like that is, you're making a, you're making a photograph of the document. So this, right. you just leave it on this top one photo. You know, even if you don't need to be like thrown off by women, this isn't a photograph, this is a document. Okay. You just, you just click on photo to file. Okay. So and what that means that. is it's going to make, a, it's going to make an attachable file to an email attachable file out of, out of that. So when that's sitting there on the default, you just go and you click scan here. Oh, so it's up here in the gray area. Yeah, it's the gray area is the So that board. means it's always selected. Yeah, and that's always going to just be the default. So I'm going to go do you what? You click scan. Scan, okay. So now it's scanning it. It's getting ready to scan it. Preparing to scan. It's doing the business. Putting the thing into scanning mode at that end. Mm-hmm. Now it's that. scanning. Okay. And you can see that, like, here's the picture of the document that's coming in. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that, that, that tells you, like, so if you didn't want to have all of that done, you could drag one of these corners and resize. You could, like, resize it so that the square, the selection rectangle, which is those dots, mm -hmm. you can resize it by clicking on the corners and dragging. But when it's a whole page like that, you don't need to do that because you, you're doing the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. So if, we, if you really only wanted to get, like, the UVA logo scanned, you didn't need all the other shit, you could just drag that lower corner and you could just go to the part that you wanted scanned, see? And then do it over. And then, and then click the, the save button. But oh. um, typically, you know, if you're going to do a whole page and you would just leave it, leave it there. Okay, and then, and then you have to click save. Then now, you, now it's yeah. been scanned. So it's been scanned. So now you click save. Okay. And it's going to scan it. If you look up here, this says Marsh Ellison scans. That means that later we're going to find it in a folder called scans, which is in Marsh Ellison, which is that folder that's in the upper, upper right hand corner. Okay. So that's where we're going to look to attach it to an email later. This is the moment when we're going to save something called scan.jpg okay. into a place called Marsh Ellison Scans. Okay. That's the information we're getting. This is a save as window. Uh -huh. This area up here tells us it's going to go into a folder called Scans, okay. which is in, in, in the folder called Marsh Ellison, mm -hmm. and its name is going to be called scan.jpg. Okay. We want to leave JPEG at the end of it, but if you wanted to call it something else right now, you could... Just select the scan part and you could call it, you know, you want it to be lopo.jpg or whatever you want it to be. Or you can just always leave it scan, you know. Um, but this is your chance so to give it some it other scans name. So it it puts its own name in there? It defaults to scan. Everything, you know, programs yeah. always have to choose some default that they, they put there before you type so something in. So it just in. says scan jpg. Okay. Yeah, and G, jpg is, is a graphical file. That's what that means. Oh, okay. So if you're content and you're kind of consciously aware of where this stuff is, then you can click save here. Okay, click save. And then it's going to open and show you in this thing called the Windows Photo Viewer what it is that you saved. So you make sure that you said, oh, yeah, that's exactly the thing that I want to attach the email to the guy. Okay. So you can close that by clicking in this red X up here. Uh, you can close this bit here. And finally, you can close this bit here. Okay. Now, to find this thing, let's find, here's the Marsh Ellison folder. Mm -hmm. right? So click up, open that, one click, mm -hmm. and then figure out where the scan would be. Scans, okay. Right, it's in a folder called Scans. Go ahead and click on that. And here's a thing called Scan JPEG, and you can see a thumbnail of it. Yeah. Now, if you click on that, it'll open it. So this shows you that we have succeeded in the scan. We've got the scan on here. So it's now our next file. stage is going to be how to attach that to an email, right? right. Um, look, once you start typing, you, it'll oh, pull yeah, it up yeah, and you yeah, click yeah. there. Yeah. And then in the subject, type, type scan, comma, um, comma, and attached. Attached. And then in here, type, I've attached a scan or something, or check out the attached scan. Okay. And now, there's always going to be some kind of icon or attached thing. In this case, like in the AOL email thing, it's this, it's this uh, paper clip. So click on that. So now I, now I click on paper Right. So now what you need to do is navigate to the place where the scan was, right? 
Mm -hmm. So, um, okay. So now, um, so now scans is on the favorites list, right? Okay. So click on scans and then click on that and you'll see that it's attached. Okay, so it's there. Now I can just send and it. So now you go ahead and click send. So I just click, I'm sending it to you. Yep. And that's it. Now it's sent. It's yeah, not, so that's, that's all there is to it. So I'm going to press stop.